Athletes compete with their hearts. It's amazing how much the brain can overcome, but it has to have the heart because without the heart, it can't overcome. Carlin Thompson's whole body's a heart. I, I just wish y'all could have seen it. When I was born, my grandfather's sister and my grandma's sister were Chickasaw medicine men. They prophesied that I would be a great runner. After I went out for track, I felt like there's something they predicted a long time ago and it's coming to pass. But I ran most of my younger life barefooted. I didn't even need shoes. I had such developed a callus on my feet. When I ran through Coloma, I would feel the connection with my ancestors. It's so good to feel like a runner's high. It seems like a little spirituality comes in with that. Your mind opens up. Even in high school, when I ran long distance to practice, I always feel like they were with me at my side. My grandma was a good teacher. She taught me a lot of things about life, a lot of things about old Indian ways. She spoke only Chickasaw. She never spoke a word English that I ever heard. I grew up the same way until I went to first grade. I came to Ada in the summer of 1968, and uh, the first time I saw Carlin, uh, he was in a physical education class, and it was over at the old high school. Uh, Carlin caught my attention real quick because he was at the lead of the pack, and there were a lot of juniors and seniors that were in that group. We had over 50 kids that come out for track. It was a dying sport at the time, but he knew how to talk to kids and get them interested and then and develop them. He saw talent in people, the people that didn't even know themselves. The highlight was the track and field teams they had, which Carlin was the highlight of the highlight. My main events from junior high through high school was the 220-yard dash, the 440-yard dash, uh, and two relays, the 440 relay and the mile relay. When I ran anchor man, it, it was uh, quite a bit of pressure. At, at times, an anchor man is usually the, the fourth leg of the last runner on the relay. They're usually the, the fastest runners that brings in the baton. He just never gave up, he, he never quit, never quit. Never saw him quit a race. In your mind, you have either win or lose. And I usually like to catch, catch my opponent around the first curve. And sometimes you had to make up a, a lot of yards too to catch somebody. Just seemed like you had any energy that you didn't have before. You just somehow what you call running on guts, you know, and oh man, yeah, you feel every bit of it too. Carla set a state record in the in the 440 yard dash. I think it lasted for about eight years. But to say that you're the best and you're the first person to break 48 seconds, the first person to break 48 seconds, boy, we were all so proud of him. And and I don't know if he realized what he had done that day. Carla's senior year. We probably had the fastest time of state nearly every time. Uh, we won state four years in a row from 1969, 70, 71, 72. Well, for Carlin to be able to say, I'm the first person to break 48 seconds in the history of Oklahoma track and field, and say, I've been a state champion three times, that's very unusual. It was something more than I dreamed for. It's a great feeling. I feel like you've uh, been awarded something with all the hard work, all the sweat and pain and things that you go through to get there. Carla is very proud, but I've never heard him brag. I've heard a lot of other youngsters and adults that have bragged about him, but I've yet to hear him brag about anything he's accomplished. And I think that's another thing that stands out about him. 
Uh, I didn't take nothing for granted because there's always someone out there to compete against you. Just stay positive and be humble. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. People will know you by your fruits. In the Indian ways, we walk in balance mentally, physically, and spiritually. Try to live a good life, treat everybody right, treat yourself right, you know. I've always encouraged athletes to have a balance, have a good sound mind, and pursue your dream. To be a winner, you've, you've got to stay in there, don't give up. Don't give up the fight.